All right, chapter six, problem four, um, part A is what is a period of rotation of the Earth? All right, so the Earth, you know, the Earth has an axis and it's a big ball and it rotates around the axis. How often? Well, it rotates around the axis in one day, right? One day. So the period of rotation equals one day, which is what? 24 hours, right? Okay, 24 hours times, and they want this in seconds, um, 60 minutes per hour, right? Times 60 um, seconds per minute, right? Oh, seconds per, per minute, all right? Okay, equals what? 24 times 60 times 60. So, 24 times 60 times 60 is 86,400 seconds. That's how much, how many seconds are in a day, right? What is the period of rotation of the Earth in seconds? 86,400 seconds. Okay, what, that's part A. All right, part B, what is the angular velocity of the Earth? Well, the angular velocity, if you remember, is 2 times pi times the frequency. Um, and the frequency is just 1 over the period. So the angular velocity is 2 pi divided by the period. So 2 pi divided by uh, uh, 86400 seconds, right, equals... Okay, equals 2 times pi divided by, so the angular velocity is 7.27 times 10 to the minus fifth, 7.27 times 10 to the minus fifth, and that is radians per second, radians per second, or per seconds. Okay, part C. Given that the Earth has a radius of 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters, what is the linear velocity at the Earth's surface? So think about this a second. You're rotating around, right? 7.27 times 10 to the minus 7th radians per second is your angular velocity omega, right? And how does omega relate to linear velocity. Well, linear velocity is just omega r, right? Omega r. r in this case is 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters. So we've got 7.27 times 10 to the minus fifth per second times 6.4 times 10 to the sixth meters equals. All right. Um, 6.4 times 10 to the six. We write that in Excel as 6.4 e6, and we're looking for the product of the radius times the angular velocity. It's 4.1. Did I do a divide? Oh, no. B11. 4.65 times 10 to the 2, or 465, 465 kil meters per second. 465 meters per second. All right, and that's it for problem four.